Tonight, we're counting down to the Summer Olympics by showing you another one of my stories from my pre-pandemic trip to Tokyo. This one involves sushi. But the star of this story is a woman who made history. I want you to meet her because she carved out success in an industry once dominated by men. Nighttime in Akihabara. The bustling district of Tokyo is the home of electronic stores, maid cafes, and anime. Lots of anime. For fans of the Japanese comic art style, this is an immersive paradise. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that inside this Akihabara restaurant, <laughs> there's a real life character <laughs> whose animated personality <laughs> and remarkable story <laughs> fits perfectly into the panels of the comic book world that surrounds her. Let me explain. You see, Yuki is a trailblazer in Japan a chef who made history. For a long time, all of the sushi chefs in this country were men. His father was known as the best sushi artist in, in Aomori. And now in his generation, he's carrying it to the next level. Generations of men preparing, creating, and serving Japan's famous raw fish and rice. Yuki went to art school but couldn't find the perfect job. So she decided to chase a dream. それにで、it was not an easy path for Yuki. She once faced scrutiny from male customers and other sushi chefs. As I visited sushi restaurants across Japan, I learned why men dominated this industry for so long. Women have a higher body temperature than men, so they were not considered good at making sushi because their hands would be too, carry too much heat. Your hands have to be as low temperature as possible to keep preserve the freshness of the fish. Her sushi has an artistic flair. It is butterfly. <laughs> Akihabara has that energy, fueled by the people who come here for electronics, anime, and great food. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Japan's sushi story has featured many men. <laughs> but now, thanks to Yuki Shidui, the chef character is being redrawn. This time, it's a woman taking the lead. <laughs> 